Recently, we have been hearing that a lot of young people, including doctors, are dying of heart attacks. With all due respect to the souls of those departed and their friends and relatives, let me tell you friends, the majority of us are waiting for the disease to come to us to take some action. Unfortunately, sometimes we won't get enough time to take any action. Let me compare our life with a large ship, say Titanic. We all know that the Titanic sinked into the deep of the Atlantic Ocean after the collision with an iceberg. Didn't the captain of the ship see the iceberg beforehand? Yes, he saw it. But it was impossible to change the direction of the ship in a short distance. He needs to change the direction miles and miles and miles away from the iceberg. What was his tool to identify the iceberg? A binocular. But it has some limited range. Same in the case of various lifestyle diseases. We can see the icebergs of diabetes, heart attack, hypertension, neurodegenerative diseases through the lens of a binocular. But the time might be limited to change the direction of the ship. You are going to hit the iceberg for sure. Now, the only thing remaining is to slow down the speed of the ship. Yes, it will extend your lifespan to some degree. Now, it is very clear that we have more advanced technology to identify the icebergs in the oceans and even the size of the iceberg and even we can predict if there is any chance of formation of the iceberg in the pathway of a ship so that you can avoid it for sure. Likewise, there are advanced screening procedures available in the healthcare industry, not the kind of binoculars, I mean not the kind of usual test to identify the disease per se. Say so for example, checking the ApoB levels and lipoprotein A at an end age will surely help you to not to hit the iceberg of heart attack in young age. If you could find grade 1 fatty liver in your ultrasound scan, you must take necessary measures to change the direction of the ship not to hit the iceberg of an NAFLD or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or to the extreme liver cirrhosis. If your HbA1c levels are more than 5.5 and your fasting insulin level is near to the upper limit, do some lifestyle changes in order to not to hit the iceberg of diabetes. Beyond these, there is genetic predisposition test which can clearly identify those bad genes present in you, say of early onset heart diseases, liver diseases, hypertension and all of the so-called lifestyle diseases including cancer. These advanced genetic predisposition test can tell you whether there is an iceberg of heart attack, an iceberg of hypertension, an iceberg of obesity, an iceberg of neurological diseases in the pathway of your life so that you can steer your life ship through a clear way where there is no icebergs. I am, as a doctor, personally working in this area where I help people to identify those icebergs of diseases far, far early and I guide them to sail their ship safely by not hitting those icebergs through a program known as Eplimo. We have only one life in this beautiful universe. Invest some time and money for your life at your end age itself, not to hit the icebergs of life-threatening diseases and make the best out of your life by steering your life ship in the right direction at the right time.